Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. So today's pick a card is an April Fools, April Fools, April Fools themed pick a card. And that is who have you had eaten their words? Who have you bounced back on? Who have you had feeling or looking like a fool? So I have three objects to choose from. What I actually did was I went into my messy drawer and I basically just did a lucky dip of what each pile should be so pile number one you have the mini machino um fragrance pile number two you have the um it's called a takeout dice there's like a everyday meal one and then a dessert one and you guys have the um the dessert one that came out for you guys so you have the dessert dice for pile two and pile number three you have a battery that's what came out for you guys <laughs> pile number three so see which object you are drawn to the timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual and i will see you guys at your timestamps Hey pal one, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at who have you got eaten their words? Who have you left feeling a little bit of a fool? So you guys chose the Moschino Cleaner Upper <laughs> Fragrance. Um, I forgot what it's called, detergent, that's it. Cleaner Upper, <laughs> that's what you guys chose. Um, so I'm gonna get straight in. So pile number one, please spirit guides tap me into the collective of my pile number ones tap me into the collective of my pile number ones who have my pile number ones left eat in their words pile number ones who have my pile number ones left eat in their words i keep being shown snow white when she's given the apple um pile number one please Pile number one, please, for it guides. Who have my pile number ones left? Eat in their words. With the hanged man reverse, uh, fun employed, patiently reflecting. We have that in reverse. Who have my pile number ones left? Eat in their words, please, for it guides. Who have my pile number ones left? Eat in their words. We have strength, DIY skills, horn in the tools. Who have my, I'm hearing proof is in the pudding. Who have my pile number ones left eating their words? We have two vibes, new Korea, who this, making a choice. And one more card, please, spirit guides. Who have my pile number ones left eating their words? Nine of thoughts, Sunday scary is the tipping point. And the back of the deck, you have the hermit off the grid questioning society. Okay put these down you have a lot of pinks i'm hearing i don't even know what movie it's from or like tv show it's from but i remember it being a guy and they say something like sorry i annoyed you with my friendship like sorry i bothered you with my friendship and i'm kind of hearing that in my mind um i keep being shown a dynamic with you and another person and whoever this person is i keep being shown that there's air energy here um so gemini libra aquarius but there's i the, the person that i'm being taken to it, it's hard to get a grip on um how they feel how they move i keep seeing them constantly shifting within themselves and, and shifting their opinion on other people and there's a lot of like suspicion and a lot of like, I have to, um, I have to have my guard up. I have to have my, um, you know, I have to have my sword out and I have to be cutthroat and I have to get, you know, to the finish line before anyone else does. And I have to do that person dirty before they do me dirty. And it's like, my mind kind of feels like it's racing. And it's almost like when somebody is saying something, they could say something that's very innocent, but I'm taking it in a negative way. Like I'm taking it in a way um where I'm getting kind of like offended or I'm taking it in. it's like I'm almost expecting people to be mean to me or I'm expecting people to go against me or I'm expecting people to um try and get ahead of me that I'm kind of caught up in this kind of web 
and I feel like the way I feel I feel very very sticky because it's like my wounds of what I think the world is and what I think people are like it's almost like I'm projecting that out onto people that don't deserve it so that's why I see you then it's almost like y'all getting kind of like caught up in that and I see this person kind of going round and round in cycles and circles and I see them kind of um how do I make it make sense like imagine this is the shoe what I'm being shown imagine a spider but the spider knows that there's bigger predators like the, the spider knows that it can be killed by bigger predators so it's like okay no matter what comes around me I'm gonna shoot these webs out I'm gonna like trap whatever it is I'm gonna like be on the attack because I feel like people are gonna attack me anyway and then like let's say another spider comes or a little fly comes and it wants to be my friend I can't see that because my mind is so like defense mechanism um I don't trust anyone like whatever it's like I'm you know chucking a web at this person and chucking a web at this person and then I'm kind of getting like entangled in it where I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot where there's opportunity for friendships to grow where there's opportunity for you know career partners to grow where there's opportunities for maybe relationships to grow and it's like I can't then um make the best of that or I can't enjoy them because it's like I'm constantly thinking that somebody's trying to be one step ahead so I'm trying to get one step ahead of them but it's like my own projection so now I'm trapped in this kind of web and I'm in like a sticky kind of energy and situation and I kind of just feel the only way I feel like I feel like I'm caught up I literally feel like I've got like one of those jackets that like hold me in place and I feel very like caught up like I can't kind of move then which kind of makes me think that somebody may be caught up in their own lies or their own projections because what I was in interestingly enough when I was tapping in I saw Snow White and the Apple and at first I thought you would be Snow White, but it was almost like it was being depicted like you were the queen with the apple. But then all of a sudden it was like that apple was actually pure and that evil, you know, the, the old woman was just the old woman. It was just pure. Um, but because of what we know, it's like, don't, you know, if an old woman comes up to us with an apple, we're not going to eat that because we know the story of Snow White. Whereas in everyday life, it could just be an average, you know, sweet old lady handing somebody an apple. But it's like, we have that image in our head, like, bad. So there was this reference of that, like, you handing an apple to somebody and then this person being like, that was a bad apple, that person wasn't trustworthy, or that person wasn't X, Y, and Z. But then as time gone, time's gone on, you've given apples to other people, they've appreciated, they've returned the favor, whatever has grown there, while as they are like still saying, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad, and people are seeing, actually that person wasn't doing anything wrong, and that person wasn't, you know, trying to be, um, trying to be malicious and in actuality that person has now made me feel bad for extending my apple to that person and now they're doing the same thing to me as they have them so there's this kind of feeling of like the proof is in the pudding in terms of like maybe connections around you or business ventures around you or you know family connections around you or relationships around you they're blooming things are working well for you whereas this person it's almost like they're like that person's trying to do me wrong. That person's still trying to do me wrong. I slapped my hand too hard that I talk my hand. Sorry, guys. It's like, that person's trying to do me wrong. That person's trying to do me wrong. This one is. And it's like, they're not seeing the full truth of situations because of their own woundings. That they're kind of becoming what they were scared of. They've kind of turned into what it is that they were scared of. Um, I feel like they lack trust in other people. So then they lack trust in themselves. But whatever they would have said about you or tried to say that apple was poison or this was that... They've also done this to other people so people can kind of see what this person is like or even see through this person to see their own wounds, if that makes sense. Um, because with the hanged man reverse, I don't know why I keep being shown whoever this person is trying to look for ways to prove that you might not have been moving in the best way like I see this person like oh they're never gonna get like anywhere with the way that they move and then you've done really well and it's like oh you know what I mean whereas they've kind of maybe gone round in spirals and they're like oh they're just gonna you know you know ruin every friendship they have or whatever but you've got like long lasting friendships where this person hasn't and the same situations happen again or this person's just keep gonna go around in circles like that but they've kind of gone around in circles whatever something that they've projected onto you they're living and people can see um and i feel like you are blooming and growing i also feel as well because this could be related to career because we have the strength diy skills so like honing the tools which is you like curating something 
create in something like grow in something put in your energy into something like building it up with the two of vibes new career who this making choices like those two cards going together and i'm looking at that lady and she's like putting those like crafts together um so i smelt like a fragrance or a perfume but i might have had the perfume rub off on my hands but um do i I don't know um but then new career who this making a choice um yeah i see you you guys building something so it's like this person's like that person isn't gonna build anything of substance or this person isn't gonna go anywhere with that or they're not moving in the right way but you have done whereas they may be stuck and that's what i'm being shown there and there's kind of like a frustration there um and i feel like this person may still kind of because I with the nine of thoughts, the Sunday scaries um card and then we've got the hermit at the back of the deck. It's like I'm um I'm kind of like laying there in my in my bed or like I'm laying there at night and I'm wondering and I'm thinking, how can I catch this person out? Or did they really manage to get that job or did they really get that career path off the ground or do they really have a healthy relationship or do they really like are they really still friends with those people? Like and it's like I'm kind of going around in my, my head like well, it's the, even though that worked out for them, they're still a bad person because of X, Y, and Z. It's like I can't quite see the truth because of my own woundings. And with the Hermit card, and it's got the moon at the back, like we're looking at illusions. It's like this person's kind of creating a false sense of illusion because of their own inner wounds. And with the Hermit off the grid question in society, it's making me think of like um, you guys maybe moving about life in a different way than they would expect. Like you, it could be as simple as you guys moving within this connection in a very pure heart and really holding out for them and holding space for them and being there for them and they just didn't get it like in this world we have to get ahead and we have to be cold and we have to do all these things or it could be like you in regards to like a career or building something from the ground and they feel like how could you even do that that's impossible or how could you even make a career of doing that like that's impossible so it's like they kind of like how would you it's it's like questioning um the norm it's like this is the rule book rule book and we've got to do it this way but you're doing it that way how there must be some sort of cheating you're doing or what it's like i'm still in my mind about it but i that's where i hear it at the beginning the proof is in the pudding so there's something that you've brought to fruition or there's something that they've questioned about you whether it's your intentions your heart and the way, the way that you move towards things in regards to how you move through life and the way that you build there's something that they feel was like maybe a lie or an illusion about you that they would have just projected but in actuality that was your truth and they don't quite grasp or understand that so there's that kind of illusion so they're still trying to and i feel like with the hanged man reverse um there's kind of this feeling of uh still trying to find out where there could be flaws maybe you're not supplying them and that's kind of confusing them as well but i do feel as well with all of the pinks here um in regards to you guys as energy like there's this reference of the higher heart chakra and you just move in very pure you know what i mean towards them or just being very authentic and it's just something they don't get because their mind's very like we must strategize we must um not trust people we might and it's like they've projected that you would think like that uh and that's where they've kind of gotten stuck and that's where i'm hearing proof is in the pudding but not necessarily with how they've how they move because there's almost this feeling of they they do kind of create illusions for themselves because of their own wounds so i feel like even if you were like won a nobel prize it's like that was rigged like they make that kind of assumption but it's more so maybe people around them or just people in the situation maybe if this person like said things to other people about you um or you know went to like a different group of friends or went to other family members and was like they're moving this way or that way there's this reference of proof proof is in the put in and the people around them can kind of see how they move and what they would have projected onto you because they would have eventually projected it onto them too it's just a habit for this person and i feel like they get tangled in their own web they're literally being shown to me as a spider tangle in itself in its own web but it's to do with where it's it's coming from because i'm being taken to that energy and it's like it's coming from a wound within it's coming from um maybe having hurtful things done to them when they were young or having hurtful things said to them when they were young and it's like in their brain it's like this is how i survive people move this way you know they could have had a parental figure that was you know quite bitchy towards them or kind of trained them to look at life that way um 
and train them to move in a very strategic way they don't see how anyone could move in a different way uh they don't quite understand that kind of like empathy because the wound is quite deep it doesn't allow them to tap into it to see that other people move in different ways uh yeah and uh, let me pull your oracle cards as well It's like this person, especially with the detergent that you guys chose, it's like this person's constantly making a mess. Every time they have somebody around them that, you know, is there open to them or there to like openly work with them and be authentic or to, you know, connect with them in a very authentic way, in a very hearty way. It's like they make a mess of the situation because it's kind of like that. It's it's kind of like those weeds within that are stopping them from, you know, they need to cut that, they need to clean that, they need to work through that, but they're not looking within. It's like I'm pointing at everyone. That's how they feel. Um, but I'm being told if this is like a fresh situation, time will tell. But I'm being told for a lot of you it's already happened. But I'm being told to say, time has told. <laughs> That's how I'm being told to say it. Time has told. Uh, especially with the people that may be around them. So we have Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. I'm going to pull three of these. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Let me make sure that focuses. Pile number one, please, spirit guides. Pile number one. We have Inanna. I need to cover this one up. The queen of heaven and earth. I have nothing to hide. I see and accept all that I am. That's what we have here. Um, let's do one more card, please, Spirit Guides. One more card. Pile number one. We have Hestia, the goddess of sanctuary. No matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to stick down there. Okay. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. I have nothing to hide. I see and accept all that I am. No matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. Okay, I am blessed. My... There's something about you. Because do you see how the heart is super, super focused? Oh, it's not focused. Hang on. Do you see how on that card, the heart is super, super focused? That's what I kept being shown with the pink energies and the higher heart chakra. There's something you were offering to this person that was very genuine and very true. Or just something that was very hearty. That this person, just for the life of them couldn't see because they're so disconnected from that side of themselves they could not comprehend that that is something that you were offering and because of that it's like a lot of situations around them that could be blessings to them that could help them not only see that energy within somebody else but then have it mirrored back so that it can help them tap into their own it's like because they wouldn't self-reflect when they were seeing that light or seeing those offerings instead of using it to help them really um heal and tap into that own heart space it was almost triggering it and it was like no no that's not true that's not true and it was almost like aggravating not because you were doing anything wrong but because they, you and this person were on such different wavelengths i feel like this person just could not see the divinity that you were holding or the hearty offer that you were holding or the authenticity that you were holding and you know putting out that they were so detached from their own they didn't get it so it aggravated them because it was like underneath you know that was something that they hold on to too but they wouldn't allow themselves to tap into it so it almost aggravated you know um and then with this card, it's interesting that I had to cover the middle card up, which says I have nothing to hide. I see and accept all that I am. It's funny that I had to cover that card up because it's like you coming through as, you know, authentic. Like I have nothing to hide. I see and accept all that I am. I feel like you are very open um, and very loving and like what you see is what you get. But this person could not see that the same way YouTube do not allow me to just put the cards out. It's like, no. So this person couldn't see that. So it's almost like I have to again put the crystal over it put something over it to project and kind of um put like a, a shield over you or put like a cloak over you so i don't have to see all that you are so it's like my projections are that shield you're not as true as what you're saying that's not actually how you move because it's like i can't accept that i don't see it within um that's what i'm that's what i'm being shown Whereas I feel like there's so many other people that have been around them that maybe if they would have said that person was lying or that person, whatever, whatever, they might have met, believed it for a minute, but then that person would have then turned on whoever it was that was around them. So they would have seen or they would have noticed a pattern when other people stepped towards them too. That's what I'm being shown. Um, 
And then Hestia, no matter where I am, I am home, the most sacred sanctuary is found within me. I feel like this person isn't comfortable within themselves. They don't feel safe within themselves. So that's why there's that constant, like, I need to defend myself. I need to project out. I need to do, I need to push people away. I need to create an illusion or create a facade. It's like, I feel like this person doesn't even feel comfortable in who they are. I feel like they create a facade of that. So because they create a facade of that, it's like, they think that everybody else is creating a facade too. And they don't quite understand that. And I feel like, because I'm here in London, Bridge is falling down. So it's like, I feel like this person's facade, it's very easy for this person's facade to crumble because it's very attached to their ego. And I feel like their ego is fragile. And I think if anyone does poke it or say anything, I feel like they react, which I feel a lot of people do see about this person. So there's, what I'm being shown is their true colors do come out to the people that are around them. And like I said, time will tell or time has already told. Um... I feel like they continue to be in this cycle and, and project and I feel like even with you guys you may be long gone um but they still may be in that cycle maybe just with other people but people no matter how long gone you are I think people can see you know the the authenticity there you know what I mean or the true offer that you did have or possess or whatever it was you know your authenticity I feel like people can see that um because there's the reference with the detergent as well like we're clearing up the mess so we can see clearly when there's a mess we can't see what's underneath it but time will tell whether it erodes away or we clean it away or whatever and we can see what's underneath it so there's a reference of maybe in the thick of whenever you had a fallout with this person or whatever happened with this person there was a mess but that's eroded away that's been cleansed away the detergents come out that's been cleared away and now people can actually see you know um so that's what i have with uh for you panel number one i really hope you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so if you chose the dessert dice this is your reading what i was actually going to do is roll it um just to see what it falls on just for you guys for the reading if you fancy a dessert or whatever i'll roll it and see what comes on i just felt the need to do that so i'm just gonna roll this really quickly to see what it lands up on it might even add to the reading as well we'll see um just put me on a dessert for my pal number twos Oh, that wasn't really a good roll, but we have tiramisu. I really love tir tiramisu myself, but there we go. Um, okay, pile number two, please. That was fun. Pile number two. Tap me into the collective of my pile number twos. Tap me into the collective of my pile number twos. Tap me into the collective of my pile number twos, please, spirit guides. Who of my pile number twos? left eating their words who of my pile number twos left eating their words okay we have night of vibes life coach standing up and fighting who of my pile number twos left eating their words please spirit guides who of my pile number twos left eating their words ten of vibes burnt out the end result Who of my pile number twos left eating their words? Who of my pile number twos? The chariot, van life, making big moves. Who of my pile number twos left eating their words? I'm hearing the Tanashi song, Fires and Flames, and she sings, fires and flames are in your eyes. I wish that I didn't burn too much or something like that. And um, we have two of swag, work-life balance, making a choice. And the back of the deck, you have the five of fields, the ick, a setback. Okay. Let's make sure that's focused. Okay. Knight of vibes, ten of vibes, the chariot, two of swag, work life balance. Okay. Straight away, I'm being put in an energy like I'm trying to prove something to you. Like I'm trying to achieve something and prove something to you that i'm gonna get this to work or i'm going to do better or i'm going to win like that's kind of how it feels um but what's interesting about this is i feel like you're not 
in a race with this person which is quite interesting and i don't feel like it's just you i feel like this person may have lumped you in with other people um or just in their mind they might have and it's almost this feeling of like i'll show you i'll show you um and i keep being shown right i'm seeing this person and they're on a beach and they're trying to build a castle in the sand and you're turning to this person and you're like okay this sand like no they're wanting to build a castle with you and you're like i don't mind building the castle with you but i don't want to build it on the sand the tide's gonna come it's gonna wash it away let's do it somewhere else but this person's so strictly focused on like no it has to be on the beach and it has to be with sand and you're like no i'm not doing it here and then there's this feeling like fine i'll find someone who will do it with me then so then th there's other people in their life then going Mm, I don't think that's a good idea like I don't think you should be building that castle on the sand and they're like yes I can yes I can yes I can like I can do it I can do it and it's like I'm getting really irritated so I really want to prove my point so I'm building this castle and I'm putting all of my energy into it and then the tide's starting to come in and I'm getting the sweats so I'm trying to build and I'm trying to build harder and I'm trying to make sure the sand sticks and then the tide comes in and it's washing it away and every time it's washing it away like instead of just leaving it and putting my hands up and being like oh my god you guys were right it's like I want to keep trying to to build that castle up i want to keep like it's, it's like it's literally the tide is in but like i'm trying to go under the water and like those tiny bits at the bottom even though they're like all the way under the water i'm trying to keep them there and i'm like trying to hold them in place and i'm like grasping for air and everything's getting a bit too much but i'm not going to stop and then the tide's going out and it's like i'm just going to build it up again and it's like it would be so much easier if you just went on land and built a house like it would be so much easier than what you're doing here like and it's like the tide keeps coming in and out and in and out and it's like this person's getting really really frustrated because there's moments where they think yeah um, it, it's working it's working but then the tide comes back in and they keep getting re like i keep feeling like the tide's coming in and just ruining it and, and washing it away but it's like I'm not taking no for an answer and I keep trying to build it. And what that's making me think of is maybe like energy. Um, like I'm being shown like energy cycles. So like the universe spirit that guides their higher self. Like this path, this cycle we're in, we need to let go of it and try something different. But this person feels so stubborn or so hell bent in like proving. If you hear noises, it's Paddy's um, scratching um this person's so hell-bent in proving something that they're just not letting go and i keep being shown like i feel like i'm running off adrenaline and i feel really intense and then i'm feeling frustrated and i'm feeling like all over the place and i'm not rooting myself in and i'm not grinding my you know grounding myself in with the, with the night of vibes it's like they have the idea but instead of just trying something different it's like the ten of wands they're burning themselves out it's like they're not it, it just put the ones down you know just put them down and call it you know call it like you were right guys you were right like i should have just let go but this person's trying to prove it's not just you i feel like there's a group of energy that they've grouped you into where it's like i'm proving i'm proving i'm proving i'm proving but all the people that i feel this person's trying to prove this to including you you've either all moved on or you're not even like focused on what they're up to and even if this person was to just put those ones down or let the tide take the castle away and try somewhere else no one in this group that they're trying to prove themselves to would care i feel like there's people in their life that would understand and be like it's okay like there's many people in their life that will do that and there's, there's other people in their life that just wouldn't be bothered they have genuinely just moved on you could be one of them but this person still fight in that kind of like see i'm doing bad I, I can do it i can build it it could even be like in regards to like a connection like this person could have been trying to have a connection with you but they could have been trying to maybe stay in their shell or not put too much effort into it or maybe they would like jump from relationship to relationship and never take time out so it was like they were just used to that and maybe you were like let's try it a different way let's slow it down we're not going to try it in this way let's just take it back a little bit here are my boundaries and this person didn't want to maybe respect that or didn't understand that it's like they wanted it quick and they wanted it now because if you think about a castle being built from sand it sounds good hypothetically but it, there's nothing sturdy about it so this person could have wanted to build something very quick and i want it now and you were like no and this person could have got frustrated and just found anyone that would have jumped into that connection um because it's like the first person that was like okay i'll build the castle with you maybe they thought the same it was like they built it with that person you know but it's also like in terms of like this could have been like a business partner or a um 
you know, somebody close to you that was building up a career. And it's like, I would love to build that with you, but not here. That's not a good climate. There's something this person just has not. They, and it's like, they know. And that's why they're getting frustrated. Because it's like, they know. But it's like, I don't want to look stupid. I don't want to look like a fool. I don't want to say, I don't want you to say I told you so. But what's interesting is, I don't feel like you would say I told you so. I don't feel like anyone around them would say I told you so. It's funny because the people around them, including yourself, are very empathetic and actually very compassionate and very understanding so it's like I knew that probably wouldn't have worked for you but like it's okay like you're learning like I feel like you would understand that and people around them definitely would like that you know people in their close family even if you are their close family like definitely like they've got people around them that could support but it's like they're not quite it's like they don't their pride and ego is is you know quite high and it's like everything's banking on this so that tide's coming in and they're just not letting go of it even though there's this frustration of like do I even want it now like do I because whatever it is like this car it's almost like they're resenting the castle now um or they're resenting whoever helped them build the castle now because imagine like imagine doing that like building a castle up on the the shore Every time that water comes in and you have to build that castle up again, you're going to get to a point where you resent the process, you resent the castle, you resent the idea and it, you're just frustrated. And that's how this person feels. So whether this is towards like a business decision they've made, um, a friendship they've entered into, a relationship they've entered into, something that they put their money into, it's like they could ease, the, the, honestly, they could just walk away and they're not doing it. They, the tide keeps coming in and they're just building it back up and they're tired, they're burnt out. And they're just not, um, they're just not listening. Uh, and not even that, like the idea of the house building something, that's a good idea, but they're not elaborating. It's like this person, I keep being shown this person, I, I'm being taken to this person going into a pool and like swimming in a pool. It's like, take time out, cleanse, heal. This person's not listening to themselves. They're not listening to their body and they're getting frustrated. And they may be tapping into maybe unhealthy habits. They could be doing a lot to escape or they could be putting all of their energy into whatever this is, that they're just losing their energy, they're depleted, but they're still doing it. It's like they're stuck. They feel very stuck in this situation. And with the two of swag, work-life balance, making a choice, like there's this, everything feels like, no matter how hard I'm trying, everything feels stagnant. I feel like I'm running on a treadmill trying to chase a donut. Like, that's how they feel right now. And then I'm being shown a wave where they get the donut, but then it's like they go back into that circle, which is that tide. Like, the tide goes out, they can build it again, but then the tide just comes back in because it's a cycle. And they're not realising this has happened before. This has happened before. They just keep going round. And I don't think you'd be bothered. I don't think you'd be bothered if they let go of it, either because you're far away or it's like, I understand you were just in a cycle and you needed to learn. But this person doesn't see it that way. Um, and, you know, and there could be people in that group that they've grouped you into that maybe are, you know, ha, ah, you're going to, you know, the castle is going to fall. You're going to have this downfall. And maybe that's kind of grouped in. So they think everybody feels like that. But that's not true. And this person's really tiring themselves out. And all they have to, it, it's more so them making themselves feel like they'd be a fool. But I don't think anyone would really look at them like they were a fool. It's like, you learned. Like, it's just life. Like, it's a lesson. And I told you, yes, but you had to learn and, and that was it. But they feel like a fool. Like, they, it's like, I, I feel like the fool here. And I don't want to be labelled that. So I'm just going to keep pushing. But everything's crumbling. Um, The set, a setback, yeah, the ick, five of fields. It's like they've hit a dead end. But they don't want to be that person coming back with a tail between their legs. And I, should we have a look if they'll come out of that? Is this person going to let go on this cycle, Spirit Guides? Is this person going to let go of this cycle? Because right now they feel like the fool. But they'd have to let go of that, fe like that fear of feeling like the fool um, for them to let go. And right now it's quite daunting. And they feel, they feel really frustrated and clammed up. I feel clammy. That's the only way I can describe it. My shoulders feel really tense. Like I'm lifting them up to my neck. Like up to my, the back of my neck. Like the back of my head. Like I'm lifting my shoulders up. So it's like all that tension in the in the top of the shoulders. Um, pile number. And I'm sure there's like a coffee flavour in tiramisu. There is coffee flavour. 
last time I had tiramisu, I had like a Bailey's liquor, like cream. But I'm sure there's like a coffee flavor. And I'm thinking of like coffee. If you have too much of it, it gives you anxiety. And like coffee when you haven't slept properly and you're tired, you have that coffee to keep you alert. You know what I mean? But it's 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 just a temporary fix. You know what I mean? Especially if it's like filtered coffee or not the best. And you're not really getting what you need from the coffee beans. It's just this temporary quick fix but it's not really you know so it, i'm thinking of that and how i'm running off like a false sense of reality or like i'm drinking like that energy drink that energy can for the caffeine but it's not all that sugar rush is reminding me i used to work in like tally sales like in a call center for like two years and literally the lowest part of my life almost and i would be so drained emotionally energetically everything and everyone would be and they would give us um these really cheap energy drinks and they'd perk you up for about 20 minutes but then you'd crash and then you'd feel even worse and then they would just give you another one and it's making me feel like that like I'm kind of stuck in that repetitive oh, oh I'm tired when I could have just quit <laughs> I could have just walked away and that's how this person feels you know um will this person step out of this cycle will this person surrender to that fear I feel, the, the fear of looking a fool is what they've put on themselves i don't think anything would anyone would look at them as a fool and i don't see you looking at them like a fool either it's just like well you had to learn we learn things different times in different ways pile number two we have temperance eco-friendly finding balance Will this person step away, please, spirit guides? Will this person step away? Nine of vibes on edge, the tipping point. And knight of fields, ally standing up and fighting. And the back of the deck, we have the five of fields, the ick again. So this has come up twice. A setback, the ick, knight of fields, okay. Eco-friendly, finding balance, on edge, the tipping point, ally, standing up and fighting. I keep being shown like a chapter coming to a close. Um, there's something in their life that's going to go stale, which I guess would probably be the building of that castle. Again, the castle can be a work commitment it could be career it could be the connection it's gonna get to the point where there's so much resentment that the resentment passes and it's stale and it's just like what is the point i'm back on the beach again building this up like what is the point like i feel stale i feel numb like i don't want to i don't want to do this and i I keep being shown like I'm sitting in a room and I've got about 20 doors around me and it's like why are all these doors open like no like and it's like I'm purposely shutting them all which kind of makes me feel like lines of communication are ways which people can get to me and I see this person closing every door um just shutting them away um and I see them kind of like sitting and being like I don't want to talk to anyone I don't want to speak to anyone and I see this person um feeling very liberated in that so again if this is a connection they're in they could like disconnect from the connection just take time away if it's a friendship they could take time away if it's a job I, f I see them maybe quitting or like taking like a week off and just like hiding away and in that time of like being on their own it's almost like an epiphany because we've got the sun car the, the sun car we've got the temperance car but there's the sun in the background so i'm thinking of like new dawn new day type of vibes um and it's almost like i'm looking at a different like it's like surely there's a different way of doing this and they're gonna then start to look at it like they feel so burned out with the castle that it's like surely there's something else out there for me like surely surely there is and i feel like they're gonna look at that as that door that opens for them then which is every door is the closing of a cycle and the opening of a new one i see them looking at that door as like a relief and i see them walking through that door then it's like there's nothing that makes me want to go back to that sand castle i feel burnt out there's like nothing there. i feel dead inside when i think of that castle and that's what i'm being shown here but i do feel this person can sometimes be a bit of an extremist and i feel like it's really going to get to that point where they're past frustration they're at frustration now with the castle they're going to get to a point where it's like i'm i feel nothing and they're going to walk out and at that point they're not going to feel like a fool because it's like I did everything I could. I really did. Like, that's how I feel. It's like, no one can say I didn't try. Like, it's that type of vibe. Um, Learn my lesson and whatever. And it's like that new energy. It's almost like revitalizing them. That's what I'm being shown. Because again, nine of vibes as well. The tipping point. It's like, 
I feel like this person's close to being like, you know what, I'm just going to jump off. I'm just going to jump off the cliff and jump into the water. It's gonna, I'm going to welcome it. And remember the water was that cleansing energy I saw them in. Which then we have the Knight of Feels, allies standing up and fighting. Somebody may um, say something to, something to this person. Or this person could like turn to someone for help or guidance. So this person could um, speak to somebody and, and get help from somebody. Or kind of say their feelings to somebody and that person could like help them out because I see again it's like that watery energy somebody holding space for them and I feel like that's where they may make that leap and make that change so I feel like somebody or something um a water sign maybe around some of them but just someone that they're able to be emotionally vulnerable with I feel like they may express something um to someone that's like right we need to get you out of this situation or we can try something different and it's someone that gives them a fresh perspective as well that's really going to help uh but i feel like they're going to really get to the point where they're so fed up before they get there but at that point they won't feel like a fool at that point they will no longer feel like a fool um pile number pile number um two of these spirit guides two of my pile number twos left feeling like a fool who of my pile number twos left feeling like a fool we have Vajra Yogini I hope I pronounced that correctly I have the power to make each moment sacred everything is material for my liberation let's put that there um two more cards from this deck please spirit guides let's make that focus two more cards from this deck oh I'm gonna have to cover this one up but it is Lala, the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. And one more card, please. Spirit guides, one more card. Oh, one more card, please, spirit guides. One more card. Alma 2's person. We have Isis, the goddess of magic. Oh, I'll have to cover that word, but you'll know what it means. S, energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. I'm going to have to cover that word up. I wish I didn't have to. Okay. Um, my prayer is a, my pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. Okay. Um, I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. Yeah, I feel like this person going through a transformation. I feel like this person could have maybe created this transformation a long while ago. I feel like the signs have been there. Um, but this is the cycle that this person did choose to go down. And uh, I do feel that they would have gained a lot. But I feel like, like I said, this person kind of moves in like an extremist way. So I feel like they'll um they'll push 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 until there's like nothing left or they'll work 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 until they're literally falling asleep on the job and i feel like that'll make the transformation all the more um all the more stronger i feel because i see them bouncing back kind of like with a vengeance and feeling very bright um you might even hear when that person feels fiery like a i'm i feel like i'm a shooting star and i'm like you know that song i'm a star man uh floating through the sky or something david bowie like i feel like that so i feel like this person may feel like that and feel very open um and very like excited they almost feel excited and i feel like you may hear from this person then if you haven't heard from them um and they may spill the tea i'm being told they might spill the tea so things you might have wondered about they might let you know um because i see you kind of get in a told like it, it's a told you so moment whether you choose to say i told you so or not um but I do feel there's going to be some sort of like you feel like vindicated you feel like ah see I told you or I knew that you shouldn't have gone into business with that person or I knew that connection might not have been the best for you like I did say um and I feel like you're going to be vindicated there like there's if you've wondered whatever this castle represents if you've wondered something about it there's something that you know or there's something you've assumed or something that you've like intuitively picked up that nothing's been confirmed so in your mind you're like oh I don't know though they're going to come to you with a tea and I feel like this is for not all of you I would say this is like for a good 80% of you I feel like they're going to come to you with the tea and I feel like they're going to let you know something that you would have predicted um about the situation because i see them saying something to you this feels like you and this person have a really friendly vibe no matter the connection i feel like you and this person have like 
whether it's like a brotherly sisterly vibe um or a sisterly sisterly vibe or a brotherly brotherly vibe or it could just be a connection where there's like a best friendy type of vibe here but i feel like this person may tell you things about that you've already had a hunch of um every word i say becomes a prayer i am the author of my own story i feel like this person currently doesn't feel like they're the author to their own story it's like they've made an idea and now they kind of feel a slave to it whereas i feel like that's going to be liberated and i feel like they're going to understand like i have control over maybe how i feel like i'm perceived or what i can build or like how my life goes and they're going to understand that through this experience so they are learning something from the experience it's not just happening to them they are gaining something you know and then my pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life i do feel this person tapping back into that fiery energy at one point but it's when they close the door on whatever this is i see them slowly going and closing all those doors in that room that i saw um and sitting in silence and it's like that silence feels like bliss and now I feel like I don't want to go back, you know, you know, when you take a week off of like work or something and you, you know, when you don't like your job and you take a week off work and then it's like, I don't want to go back. I want another week off. That's how they're going to feel. And then it's like, well, why don't I? That's how it feels. Um, but yeah, pile number two, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed your reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey Pal 3, welcome to your reading. So you guys chose the battery. I'm gonna start with Harrow and then we're gonna move into your Oracle card. So let's go so pile number three please spirit guides the battery pile tap me into the collective of my pile number threes who have my pile number threes left eating their words who have my pile number threes left eating their words who have my pile number threes left eating their words Pile number three, please, spirit guides. We have temperance, eco friendly, finding balance. I'm gonna put that there. Pile number three, please, spirit guides. Who of my pile number threes left eating their words? Page of feels coming out, receiving a message. Who of my pile number threes left eating their words? We have the king of feels, stay-at-home dad, a master in masculine energy. And um, we have page of thoughts, teletherapist, receiving a message. I mean, you have two receiving a message. So whoever this is, you may hear from soon. Um, six of thoughts, girls trips, girls trip, better together. Now, what's interesting about this pile is when I tapped into the person um that you have left feeling like a fool or eating their words there is a lightness surrounding you when it comes to this person so this person whether they have feelings or they just care for you or they have love for you that really strongly is being shown um and when i think of like you guys um with the battery I'm thinking of like an iPhone battery or like a camera battery and you have to charge it up to get it 100% full so you know if we really really want our phone in that in that moment or we want to do something it's like we need to you know have it on that lead and we need to wait and we need to be patient and we need to allow that battery to fill up and we can't take it off you know we, ha we have to allow it you know that grace and there's a reference there with you of like I made an assumption too quick um, like oh this didn't work but the batteries weren't in you know what I mean this, this isn't working the way I wanted to nothing's happened the batteries have run out or um this isn't acting the way that I wanted to yeah because it's not 100% charged it's not 100% full that's why it keeps cutting out because it keeps dying because you're only letting it charge up 10% so there's a reference towards something to do with you a connection with you or just who you are as a person where they might not have seen all of you they might have judged too quickly or they may have projected onto you too quickly it's almost like I have an assumption of you in my head or the way that you move or whatever it is you do but I haven't taken time to get to know you to listen to you to understand you I haven't taken time to nurture this situation so I kind of feel like a fool because like there's this reference of like I'm viewing you or I'm seeing something you've built or I'm seeing other sides to you because I keep being shown like an octagon with like different sides 
you know when you have like um an ornament and it has all those different sides and it's like a diamond it has all those different faces it's like i only saw the face picture like i only saw like an image of it which i couldn't see it in that 3d with all the different sides i didn't see it in person so i had like an assumption there's a reference there of somebody like kind of painting a picture before you had you know even got the, the, the pens the papers the paintbrushes whatever it's like somebody painted a picture of how a connection could have gone or what type of person you'd grow into because this could be like a family situation like you could be like a cousin or a sibling and it's like oh they're not gonna do, like do well in that job because they're really stressful but actually you end up doing really well or I don't know if this connection is gonna work out because that you know the first time I saw them they were kind of closed off but like they didn't give it time to nurture they didn't give it time to settle they didn't give you time to bloom so there's something about i didn't put in enough effort or energy or i didn't wait i wasn't patient enough and i created an assumption beforehand that's what i'm really being shown here because whatever the case this person feels kind of like emotionally connected to you or they feel like they're starting to see maybe a more sensitive side your vulnerable side that side to you that they wouldn't have seen before and it's almost like my heart feels connected to your heart or you know you could have been in like a family dynamic where there was a lot going on and there was a lot of stressful situations going on or maybe you both you know this could be like a sibling situation where you were both up against not the best scenarios and this person could have thought oh well, they're just going to end up like this but you actually didn't you actually bloomed and you actually took whatever happened to you and you, you grew from it so there's this reference of like oh no they really turned that into gold and like i shouldn't have assumed i should have just waited back and seen i, I didn't allow them to bloom um and that's what I'm being shown here. And it's kind of a mixed bag. I'm not necessarily being taken towards one specific situation. But I do feel whoever this person is, um, I don't feel like you're in contact with them. Um, just because with the two cards, with receiving a message, the page of feels and the page of thoughts, um, the teletherapist and the coming out, both of them are receive a message, which is making me think that this is somebody that... Um, somebody that's not in your life and is wanting to reach out and wanting to contact you i'm also being shown somebody maybe like being a friend with you like a friend to you but like years earlier or maybe like being in school or being in college with you but like they knew of you then in like an earlier phase in your life and they've kind of made an assumption of you of like this is the type of person they are and this is what they're going to turn into but then five years later like you've completely like maybe blown it out the park or become something completely different and they're like oh my god I really shouldn't have judged so there's a reference there of somebody but this feels like somebody you would have known when you were younger or somebody that maybe you had dated a year or two ago or three years ago or five years ago and it didn't get off the ground or someone you were talking to and maybe seeing but and not enough effort went into the relationship and whatever it is the assumption they made it's like I was wrong I didn't allow it to charge it's making me think you know sometimes when you get like acrylic nails put on I remember the first time I ever went and got acrylic nails when I was younger and obviously they put the really long clips on your nails first before they cut them down so they put these really long clips on my nails and the nails were like this long on my hands before they'd cut them and I remember them putting it on and I remember like panicking thinking oh my god they're gonna put these long claws on me like I'm like gonna be really embarrassed I'm gonna have to come home and take them off oh my god I'm just wasted like I think it was like 25 pounds I was like I've just wasted money like why are they doing this but that was my you know I'd never had nails before so that was my assumption of like this is what happens I didn't know that they cut them down and file and all that I didn't know that so there's that type of feeling that they would have had of like oh I don't know and then just maybe pulled away or this is the assumption I have of this person um but you've grown and involved in a different way but there's something about seeing your vulnerability or seeing more sides to you um you know you could have been somebody that's a little bit more reserved and they could have been like oh that person didn't want to talk to me they didn't like me so I don't want to talk to them but then later on they realize this maybe they see you in a certain situation and they realize that you're actually just a bit more observant it takes you time to come out of your shell and then they see you coming out of your shell and then it's like oh oh my god like all of these sides I didn't see so there's a reference of that so I don't know in the last couple of years if you have been working on being a bit more vulnerable or openly vulnerable or you've been open about maybe experiences that have happened to you or why you moved in the way that you did or you've just maybe grown and evolved so you're just a little bit more fluid and open with maybe your emotions and who you are or your personality whatever it is this person's seen that and this is where it's like I just made these assumptions and I shouldn't have I just jumped to this conclusion and I shouldn't have I just created this idea of you in my head and I shouldn't have 
I want to pull more on that because I want to say six of thoughts girls trip better together this could be an old friend it could as well be like a friend that you had and maybe they were emotionally connected to you and they um you may have moved in like a certain way you could have been going through something and you pulled away and they could have like projected like oh, that person's just cut me off, but you hadn't, you needed space. And this person could have run up with their understanding, oh, you were going through this, 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 and this, I didn't know. So there's kind of like this kind of peace offering or a, I want to reach out, I shouldn't have moved that way, maybe I should have spoken to them. Um, I see them differently now, I understand now. It's that vibe, but it's something that you've done. What was, um, Spirit Guides, what is the, what is it that was projected onto my pile number threes? What is the... Show me what was projected. What was the assumption? Can you show me? I know it's like different scenarios coming through. But what was projected? The star... The soul cyclist starting fresh. What was projected? What was the... The moon, the gold star stepping into the unknown? What was projected? Queen of Thought, Independent Woman, Master and Feminine Energy. And the back of the deck, you have the Three of Thoughts, Turiel, the Builder. For a lot of you guys, this may have been you going through things, like you experiencing a lot of heaviness in your life. Um, and maybe going through your own transformations behind closed doors and really dealing with your own thoughts, your own feelings. I mean, we have the moon in the middle of the ghost. So maybe you pulled away to deal with whatever it is that you were going through and you weren't able to show up in like a friendship or connection or whatever it was the way that you needed to. And you were dealing with a lot inwardly that this person just didn't see. So it's like this person's vacant, this person isn't around, this person isn't showing up for me, this person, it's like that understanding, oh, you were going through this. You know, or if this was like a connection, someone you were talking to or dating and nothing got off the ground and you maybe didn't come out of your shell or you weren't able to give your all. It's like that understanding, oh my God, you were going through this. There's something about, oh, you were going through this or you needed to top up from this or this was happening behind the scenes that I didn't know or you were working through this or this was a wound that you had that you were working through and I didn't know. So there's a reference there, like I didn't know and I shouldn't have made the assumption. I should have just let you top up. I didn't understand like I, I and I, that's why I feel like you may hear I'm hearing that so it would be out of the blue it would come when you least expect it it's like almost like I want to talk about it and clarify um and speak to you about something um yeah that's kind of like how it feels it's like maybe I got the wrong end of the stick type of vibes that's kind of how it's coming through master and feminine energy independent woman master and feminine energy queen of thoughts queen yeah queen of swords Whoever this is, they want to say something to you. Because uh, there's things maybe you just didn't say out loud because maybe you couldn't even make sense of it at the time, you know? Um, or maybe it was just something you just didn't want to say to people. It's like, that's not anyone's business. Let me just deal with that by myself. And maybe if this was a connection when you were younger, they took that, you know, you know, when you're younger and people are going through things, we sometimes our ego can lead us to take that as like, oh, you don't like me, it's rejection. And I can hit a, an, a wound or an abandonment wound or whatever it is, like, I'm not enough, you don't want to be around me. When in actuality, a lot of the times it's nothing to do with us. And we all do that. We all would have done that at one point in our lives, taken somebody's absence or whatever it is that they were going through and taken it as like, oh, you don't like me. And sometimes it's not that. And I feel like that this might be like a situation like that where they're like, oh, I didn't know you were going through this or you were going through that I didn't understand or I'm I'm thinking of like the moon and I'm thinking of like the illusion but I'm thinking of when the moon's out at night and it's a full moon or it's an eclipse or something or a super moon and it kind of lights up the dark so you can still kind of see a little bit there's a reference there of something illuminating what was hidden before because maybe in the past you hid your feelings and emotions or whatever it was and maybe you've been open and vulnerable or maybe they've caught wind of something that you were doing or going through or maybe they would have assumed oh this person's just cold but they've seen as you've grown and evolved that person's not cold they actually go through a lot and maybe that's just how they dealt with it when they were at that age you know so that there's something there um that this person's kind of like seeing but it's i feel emotionally connected to you and i want to talk to you that's how i feel um, it's making me see you in a different light and i feel emotionally like tied to you and connected to you that's how um this person feels uh yeah i feel like you've grown and i feel like this person's grown 
because they're understanding I need to nurture a connection before I step into it or I need to wait for that charger to be on 100% before I just take it off the lead or I need to um, be patient, you know what I mean? Um, and really see the full scenario before I make an assumption like this person understands that you, I feel, have also grown and understood maybe I need to just let people know that I can't show up for them in this way or maybe I need to let people know like, hey, I'm going through this and maybe just pull my energy back there. Like, I feel like whatever would have caused the friction, I feel like you've both grown and evolved from. Um, and there's like a lightness. This pile specifically, pile three, when I tapped into this pile, this was the one pile where I felt like a hearty, emotional connection. Like this is an old friend or an old partner or like just somebody that I really valued in my life or that I see with a really good light and I feel emotionally connected. That's the instant feel I felt with you guys' pile. Um, I didn't feel that so much with the other two, but this one I do. Two, it kind of came a little bit later on one i didn't feel it at all but this one it, it's all it's there you know um pile number three pile number three whoever my pile number three is left eating their words um we have mashig labdron i hope i pronounced that correctly um i see the light in my own darkness i face my ego beliefs to feel free yeah you know what i was saying about like sometimes our ego can have us think that somebody's rejecting us when in actuality they're not um it kind of feels like that oh this isn't gonna amount to anything this connection isn't gonna work like i just went on this date and they barely spoke to me but it's like maybe you need a couple of dates before you warm up you know or maybe like different parts of your personality come out at different times like and now they're like oh yeah maybe i shouldn't have jumped the gun there you know we have perpetua i am my authentic self in all circumstances and one more card please for guidance pal number three who of my pal number three is left eating their words we have white buffalo calf woman my heart is a compass the path of love is true abundance okay um i see the light in my own darkness i face my ego beliefs to feel free yeah that's what i was saying um it's like i'm entangling myself from a narrative because you kind of proved that that narrative wasn't true anyway or something you're presenting is kind of tearing away the old way i would have looked at you and my heart feels very expansive towards you or there's a level of empathy i have towards you or an understanding i have about the way that you move and it's connected to your own emotions and vulnerability um and then we have i am my authentic self in all circumstances yeah i feel like with you as well like maybe this person was just used to people like performing for them or telling them everything that they want to hear or just showing up for them all the time and you're someone it's like no i need to take time out to deal with this or i'm not just going to show you that part of me straight away i need to have time to charge up warm up that's just something that i do and this person might not have dealt with that um before you know so it's like in their mind at that point that there's like a projection that they might they might have placed and then my heart is a compass the path of love is true abundance i feel like this person's heart feels more open the heart space feels more open um but it's also like i see yours i feel like i can see yours this can also be a family member as well um but it's like i can see yours i can i, I can see like the truth or i can see those sides of you that i didn't see before um yeah so pile number three that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed the reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching